Hello beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed this dramatic intro. This by far is the worst piece of furniture I've ever seen in my life. And you will see in a minute how bad it was. I didn't actually pick this for myself. This is part of a really fun challenge that I'm doing with David from Mayfield's Restorations. So we decided to challenge each other and pick something that would be very difficult for that person to do something with. And this is what David got for me. I actually had to drive quite far and I got it from a place that looked like something from a horror movie. Everything was falling apart. Everything was just rotten and eaten by woodworms. And my only plan was to actually make it usable. But enough of this. So David is someone I've become friends with over DIY and furniture. And he's a lovely guy from the UK. And I'll link his video at the end of this one. So please make sure you see his version of the story and his project. Enjoy the video. Don't worry, I'll make you beautiful. This was the funniest part of the project because the drawer bottom was so rotten that I literally just put my finger through it and you can see all the holes from woodworms. In case you're wondering, you should not be able to break that plywood with your fingers. Even though this chest of drawers was actually an antique, the hardware on it was very cheap and very poor quality and I was not going to keep it. The support piece shattered when I was removing the drawer bottom, so I glued all the pieces together. Unfortunately, the woodworm damage was so bad I had to spray pretty much the whole chest of drawers and you'll see me use this treatment throughout the video. Hi David, how are you mate? Hi buddy, I'm good, how are you? I'm just calling to say a quick thank you for this lovely piece of furniture that you got for me. It's falling apart. I literally put my finger through the drawer bottom and um, I don't know if I can save it. I really hope that you like that mint condition quality flower power piece that I picked for you. I'm really pleased you like the piece that I picked for you but I've no doubt you will definitely be able to save it mate. I'm not too sure whether I'd use the word like the piece you've chosen for me. Yeah, it's something that I wouldn't pick for myself but it's purple, it's got a lot of flowers on it, and hopefully I'll be able to do something with it. So it's, it's definitely a challenge, so thank you very much for picking that for me. 
Oh, I'm so glad you like it. I knew you would. Anyhow, I'm looking forward to um, seeing what you can do with it. Take care and um, best of luck. I've no doubt you'll do something amazing with it, but uh, we'll catch up. We'll catch up later on in the week. Okay. Cheers, buddy. See you later. Bye bye. I was thinking of some funny comment to insert in here, but I don't really know what to say. As always, huge thank you to all of you beautiful, generous people who support me via buy me a coffee or by hitting the super thanks button or by using my links in the description. That helps a lot and I really appreciate it. So I wouldn't normally clean a piece like this with lots of water and soap but because this was absolutely disgusting and it really needed a good clean and the sun was out so I scrubbed it really well and I left it outside to dry. And my fairy apprentice came by to make sure I did a proper job. As you can see, the legs were really rotten and instead of replacing small bits here and there, I just cut them off and I had a good idea what to do instead.
As I was feeling some cracks and imperfections in the top, a shop supervisor came by to check on the progress and get a quick cuddle from me. At this point, I was actually thinking that the veneer on the sides of this dresser was actually savable, but as you'll see in a minute, I was wrong. And here it is. And this is actually above the repair that I just made. As I was inspecting the veneer, I realized that pretty much the whole piece was not glued on. And see how easily it came off just with my fingers. So I had to remove it. Half of the drawer stoppers were missing, so I made new ones and I replaced them. And then I decided, instead of just putting veneer on the sides, because of the damage, I went to pick up some thin plywood with veneer on it already, just to give it some extra structural support. The oak veneered plywood looked great, but it also looked brand new, so I decided to age it with some tea and coffee stains. This is just a natural technique of colouring or aging wood, and you can basically use it instead of regular stains, and it's very cheap. Because this chest of drawers was from the early 1900s, it wasn't exactly straight. It did take some tweaking until I got the panels right. If you're enjoying this video so far, you can subscribe for more content like this. This is completely free, unlike some people think. And also share the love with David and do check out his channel and his video. I'll link it in the end screens. So right after this video, go and see his. Are you inspecting my project, huh? 
Do you approve? I'm sure you understand by now that this piece was in a very bad shape and because of the woodworm damage I wanted to do something to make sure it would be preserved and strengthened for the next 50 years. This is why I decided to use very old Japanese wood burning technique on the carcass of this dresser. You basically torch the wood which preserves it and makes it more resistant to moisture. And it also kills any woodworms that I didn't manage to kill with the spray. And this is me testing the stains that I made. So the first on the left is tea, the middle one is coffee, and the third one is basically a mix of both. It doesn't really show on camera, but they look quite different. And the more you apply, the deeper the color is. I decided to go with the tea. And this is what it looked like when still wet. I applied some oxalic acid to the top of the dresser because there was a big stain and I warmed up some brown glue to re-glue all the joints on the drawers because they were loose. If you watch my videos you see me sand things to perfection. This was not the case. I really wanted this chest of drawers to have a rustic, beat up vibe, but at the same time look elegant and refreshed. So I actually made an effort to make sure that I did not make it look new. These are the cast iron wheels I decided to put in instead of the legs. This is what the panels looked like when the stain was dry and I was quite happy with the color but didn't quite match the rest so I dry brushed some black wax just to make them look a bit closer to the rest. As you remember, the drawer bottom was eaten by woodworms, so I made a new one. The wood filler that I used to fill the cracks 
didn't quite look like the rest of the wood on the top, so I used some stain to help it blend in. I know what you're thinking, this looks white, <laughs> but before you start typing in the comments, just trust the process and just wait for the final results. Because this chest of drawers had lots of locks, I thought it would be really nice to actually have a working key. So I looked online and I found just the right guy. This guy's family used to have an auction house and he had hundreds of keys. Well, may I say it took a while to find the right one, but I did. Day two, day three, day four. To tie all the sides together, I applied a little bit of black wax on the top and the drawers as well, but ever so slightly. And then I used natural beeswax and I covered the entire chest of drawers with it inside, out, behind, everywhere. This will allow me to protect and moisturize the wood in all the areas where I didn't apply the hard wax oil. So this project is almost finished and wow, it's been so much work but also so much fun. Hands down the most enjoyable project and collaboration I've ever done. Please guys do me a favor, go over to David's channel Subscribe, like, comment. He's a great guy and has a very nice content. If you enjoy my videos, I'm sure you'll love his channel. And before I show you the final results, this is his reaction. Hi aboard, I've just been looking at those uh, those pictures you sent me of the piece you finished. Um, I am suitably impressed. I knew you'd be able to do something with it, but I didn't think you'd make it as nice as you have. I think it's, uh, it's a stunning piece of furniture. Um, definitely a credit to your talent, buddy. It's absolutely amazing. Well done, pal. And I knew you could do it. And for the two of you who care, I turn all the screws in the same direction. You're welcome. Now go over to David's channel to see his video.